All right, I want to find the domain in the range of each of these four problems. Okay, now I've already found the vertex vertices of these, excuse me. Um, and then I also want you to remember that if a parabola opens up, okay, its lowest point is going to be the vertex. If a parabola opens down, its highest point is going to be the vertex. So we're going to have to remember that as we go. All right, this first one, I found the vertex is 6, 8. And we also know that right here is a positive value. All right, so that means this is going to open up. And if that opens up, the domain on that is going to be from negative infinity to infinity. All the domains will always be negative infinity to infinity with quadratics. But the range, however, um, since it opens up, that's one like this, where the lowest point is that vertex. So the smallest y value we have is 8, and the largest one is going to be infinity. Now, if we have a number, we're going to write that with a bracket. Infinities get parentheses. The second one, again, I found the vertex of negative 2, negative 9. It's going to have a domain from negative infinity to positive infinity. The range, however, is, since this one opens down, it's a negative value. Um, it opens down. The highest point is going to be the vertex. So that means we're going to have to go from the lowest, negative infinity, to that highest point up here at um, a y value of negative 9. Okay. Number three, again, if I put a positive 1 right there, it's going to open up. So uh, the domain, negative infinity to infinity, but the range, this one is uh, going to be, since it opens up, the smallest value is going to be our vertex, 5, 0. All right, so that's a 0 value for the smallest y going up to infinity for the largest y. The last one. Domain, negative infinity to infinity, has a vertex of 2, 3. This one's also positive. It's going to open up. So that means the smallest y value is 3. The largest, oops, the largest y value would be infinity. Put a bracket on that one. Infinity. And there you have the domain and range of all of those.